There's some controversy around Things that are flying in the sky Because you might think that they are aliens But they might not be And I'm gonna tell you why We used to call them UFOs We used to think they were aliens well, the thing is, lots of scientists disagree, but they used to be called UFOs. And now they're not. They changed the name to something else to better describe what they do. And it's not just interplanetary, it's interdimensional too. Because these things, you don't know where they come from. No, you don't, because they're already called UAPs. And that's because they live in this sea, yeah. Why they're called UAPs That's why they're called UAPs Because lots of Navy pilots have reported That they fly and they change at 90 degree angles And then zoom off at thousands of miles an hour And then they all of a sudden just disappear into the water I promise you haven't landed on a cult YouTube channel <laughs> where I'm trying to convince you of things. But these things are real. The government says so. The government has told us. The government of America. And that would never lie to anyone ever, would it? seen him on your TikTok. If you haven't, he's a fascinating man, cause I can't tell if he's absolutely mental. And there's also this guy called Dr. Stephen Greer. He has all the information that you could need. And he claims that he has a photo of an alien. And it's just this little thing that floats like this. It's just floating there. And he says he got it out of the dimensions by using meditation. This is what people say now. They can summon aliens through meditation. That's what they say. Because we need to unlock consciousness. Does this sound like hippie stuff? Because it sure did to me. But now I like it. Because they live in the sea. Because they live in the sea. Because they live in the sea. They go under the water. That's where they live. And there's this guy called Ross Coulthard. He is a journalist from New Zealand. And if you follow him, you'll find lots of information. Now, he claims that he has information as to the whereabouts of a UFO or UAP so large that they, they whoever they is, built a building over it. Where could that be? Nobody knows, there's lots of theories. That it could be in America, a military base. Maybe it's inside a mountain. I've read and watched a lot of things on UAP, so this information should be useful to you because I have been watching so many things about UAPs because I like them now. <laughs> and someone's gonna take me away and think I'm mad. But you know I'm not. I just like it, I think it's fun. I'm a big fan.
called UAPs Because they live in the sea Because they live in the sea Because they live in the sea Aliens live in the sea That's why they're called UAPs